Welcome to Rick's Corner, brought to you by Old School Labs, the brand I trust and the only one I put my name to. Use my code, Drayson12, on the link below. Welcome to Rick's Corner. The man, the man, the legend. Now on with the show. Easier. <laughs> Welcome to Rick's Corner. I got Kenny Arroyo on right now. We've met uh, all through emails, right? Yes. And in the gym, and he had talked to me about training and dieting and losing body fat and getting muscle. And over a period of what time would you say had, that you had this transformation? Well, how long it t- took to uh, lose weight? Hey, that's my question. Yeah. Um, so it took me six months. All right. And you started at what weight? I was at 305. Oh, God. Yeah. It's hard to imagine. It's, it, yeah, it was very difficult. And you're at what now? Well, I went from 305 to 170, mm-hmm. and now I'm at 190 in muscle. That's amazing. So there were two of you. Yeah. You were pretty much beside yourself. Yes, I was. <laughs> okay, side by side. Um, what do you attribute the loss to? Oh, it was, it was a number of factors. Um, for me back then, uh, obviously having a, the social life that I wanted, you know, so... Um, I'm a, you know, I like beautiful women. I would say that's a really good um, motivation. There's there. no harm in that. No, right? Just we just had this talk. Yes, we did. Be picky. We have to be. Just don't go by the face. <laughs> Take a look at the angles. Yes, that's important too. Okay. Um, so I knew that you know if I want to date a beautiful woman, I need to look good. Yeah. So I would say that because a lot of people ask me, was it health motivated? And, and yes, it was. A lot of it, it was, but most of it, it was just social life. You know. Dating. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, you're a handsome guy. Thank you. I, I really like you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I don't think that it's necessary to, to look real good in order to date a woman if you have a good heart. If you have a good heart, it comes through. Yes. Because that's what's really important. When you get down to it and you get past the looks, it's who you really are that people are attracted to and what you can project from your heart, your emotions, and your brain. But it, it's done a world of good for you. It has, it definitely has. Um, at the time, you know, being 305, I was uh, suffering uh, from sleep apnea, um, pre-diabetic, yeah. high blood pressure. So well, yeah. I had a lot of complications happening fast. And so the doctor told me one day in the ER because I was having breathing problems. And he said, well, if you lose weight, it might help. So, it, it, you know, uh, eventually just clicked in me that I had to find a way to do it. And so I spent a whole year trying to lose weight. and I wasn't able to lose weight at all. I was uh, running on a treadmill for 30 minutes a day, and I thought that was the way to do it. No, it's really not. I mean, it's good for your heart. Right. But it's not going to drop body fat. No. I've seen people in the gym all year long running the treadmill every day, every day for I don't know how many years, not one change in their body. They don't look any different. They do the weights, but they do minimal, and they don't even know what they're doing. Right. So, that was me. And, was it? Yeah. And then if their diet is crap. Uh, that was okay. I, I was, it, it, it wasn't until I actually eliminated sugar completely out yes. of my diet. So, I, I, you know, going back to the old school uh, diet of bodybuilding, the golden golden era, um, that's really what worked for me. It, it, no, there's no question about it. People say to me, oh, that's old school, Rick. They don't do that anymore. I said, but your body's the same as it was 100 years ago or 100 before. It's still the same function. There's nothing yes. different. They didn't put like, new flywheels in or something like that. So I said, whatever the diet worked in with the high protein, low carb will work now. Oh, yeah. Because your body functions the same. And then they said, well, you've got to eat this and eat that. No, you don't have to. You don't have to complicate it. No. I know a guy just lived on eggs for a month. He ate a dozen a day or maybe more, and he got ripped and looked great. Yes, you know, it works. Um, back when I started doing the diet, it was actually uh, February 2nd, 2008. I remember it clearly. That's when I started, and I had a whole meal plan for that week. Mm-hmm. And it, it started then, and it never stopped. I, I continued on, you know, but uh, the, the, the meal plan was to eat cottage cheese for breakfast sometimes. Mm-hmm. I would mix it in with uh, egg whites, um, boiled eggs. So it was just a, a combination of things, but it was always high protein. I like that idea. Uh, low, you know, small ca- so low calories, mm-hmm. high protein, some fat, and some complex carb. That's perfect. I mix a little honey with my cottage cheese. Sounds tasty. Su- su- yeah, it sweetens it up just a little yeah. bit. Most people don't like it. They say it's boring food, but it's it's got a lot of protein in it. Yeah, you know, a lot of people have asked me that. A lot of people have asked me, you know, how, how was it that you're able to do this? And my my response is always the same. It's like. I had to cho- choose between okay, do, am I gonna eat you know eat what I want and then look like like most everybody, 
or am I going to change my diet and look how I want to look like? Well, what were you eating to keep you that heavy? I was eating a lot of like fried food, a lot of processed food, like you know, a lot of uh, fried chicken and things like that. Yeah, a lot of sodas. So a lot of like not carbs. not not diet soda. No, no, regular. Oh, no, sodas. that's the worst. Yeah. So. And um, well, chicken you pull the skin off. Yeah, but I like I like I like to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I like to eat it. So I was you know eating all of that. I mean, um, sometimes I would go to KFC and buy a bucket, <laughs> and I would eat the whole thing. I actually did that about six months ago. I got some breasts and legs, and I pulled the skin off and ate it, and it was actually pretty good. Yeah. But I, there was so much skin that I just not much going to eat that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I used to, I used to eat the bucket of KFC and then have some Heineken with it. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, a, it was, it was awful. That's, a, that's a bad diet. Oh, it was horrible. Uh, it's, it's good to spread it out, as you yes. know, through breakfast, mid after, mid morning snack, afternoon high protein, mid-afternoon snack, and then dinner. And then after seven o'clock at night, I don't eat anything. I have ice water, maybe. Okay. Um, unless I go out to eat, and of course it takes some time until 10 till you get served. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think that works pretty well. I've cut out desserts. I don't do that anymore. Unless I'm with somebody, I want to share one, but even then I'll just take a few bites. Right. Yeah, I definitely stay away from sugar completely. Yeah, yeah. sugar's a poison. It is. It is. It, it kills your gains, right? So yeah. I definitely don't uh, want to do that. Last week, you girls will appreciate this. I took myself out to dinner to a deli up in Beverly Glen, and I had a really good pastrami sandwich. And then I looked in their freezer or their cake thing, and I saw this nice big carrot cake. I said, oh, that's got my name on it. Oh. <laughs> See, the piece it's got. It says Rick on there. Bring it out to me. So they did, and it had all this thick icing, and I couldn't even finish it. It was just too rich for me. By the time I got home, my eyes were going like this, and I was dozing off from the sugar. I got a sugar high. Right, right. The next morning when I got up, everything in my body hurt. My knees, my back, my shoulders, my elbows, my wrists, just from the sugar. And I went to the gym, and I just could hardly even move around. I said, this is just not normal for me to feel that's bad. Right. But I did work out that day. I, went, I tried to work through it, and I drank a lot of water, and then I got rid of the effect of it. But that, and someone said, well, you shouldn't eat sugar like that. That's what it does. It, it's, it poisons and inflames your joints. It's inflammatory. Yes. And uh, something to add to that, because I've experienced that too. But something else I, I want to add is um, when I, you know, I, I, I've been off sugar for years, but I, I remember a couple of years ago, I decided to eat some sugar in the morning just to see the effect. Yeah. And I remember that after that, the morning um, around 3 p.m., I was feeling a little moody. Mm hmm a little emotional. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that feeling and I, I thought it was strange and I'm like it's interesting how sugar can affect your mood so, oh, so dramatically, it right? Can. I, I was very emotional and sad and I'm like why am I feeling this way? And the next day I went back to my normal eating habits and I felt normal again. I only feel that way when I watch Jerry Springer. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, See I blame you there. <laughs> so how's your, your training now is how many days a week? Uh, six days a week. And how are you splitting your body parts up? So pretty much, um, Franco Colombo was my uh, chiropractor. Yep. So he gave me the six days a week routine. Yeah. Chest and back, arms. Um, so I do arms. I do abs every other day. Yeah. And then uh, leg day, arm day. So I do. Yeah, I do it each body part twice a week. Do you do arms by themselves or with shoulders? With shoulders, I tend to mix it up, just because I feel it's a lot of energy, and I have an issue with a rotator cuff. So. I, I kind of just do the lateral raises. Yeah. And that's pretty much what I can do. Me All too. I, can do. I can't do pressing anymore. Yeah, no, I, I can't. Can. If you ask me to reach for your phone, it's like this. It's like, oh my God, that hurts. It's better today than it was two days ago. Oh, wow. Uh. Because I stretch it, but my God, does it hurt. And um, I don't know if it came from wrestling or working out or what. I mean, it definitely has to get better because I'm not going to put up with this crap. Well, I, ha I have a, an impingement here in the front delt and then my rotator cuff here. So I'm very limited on the, the movements I can do. Yeah. Uh, and Franco told me not to do any overhead anymore. Yeah. So just lateral raises. Do you have a hard time putting a t-shirt on over your head? When I'm very sore. Oh my God, I can hardly get it on this morning. Yeah. Because I can't get it through my arms and over my neck. <laughs> it hurts too bad. It does. And you're training what gym now? Gold's gym. I know, but which one? Uh, I go to all of them and I like to go to the Mecca. For me, the, the Mecca, Venice Beach, uh, for me, that that's a very inspiring place because yeah. that's really what led me on to want to look good. It was the fact of you know, uh, Gold's Gym, pumping iron, you know, in in your videos, and I, yeah. I want to say that to your viewers. I'm very 
motivational, very inspiring. Um, it, it, it's helped me a lot. I would give you a, a big percentage of, of motivation, that things that you motivated me. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Of very course, much. of course. Um, I was motivated just by being back in those days with the guys because yeah. it, it wasn't like today. You, you didn't have any um, bicycles or treadmills or right. any of those things. All you had was the weights yes. and the little water fountain in the corner. There were no cell phones. There was no music. It was just us training and working out and having a good time together. And, but each person had their own twist on how they trained, and we all kind of put together and worked out routines for each other that worked best for us. But it was nothing other than just hard work. Yes. I mean, my standing presses with dumbbells was 80 pounds. I've worked from 25, 30, 35, 40, on up to 80s, wow. and then 80s back down to 30s. My best bench press is 455. Oh, my God. Wow. That's a lot of weight. That is a lot of weight. And that's probably why my shoulders hurt today. Uh, yeah. But um, this is how we train. We, we, would, we would pyramid up, and then come down and do reps, and then go on to the next exercise. And basically, that's all it was to train the body. It was nothing fancy. It was nothing like these trainers with bouncing the ball. Right. You know, I think don't know why they do that. Um, they have very weird things they do with their clients. I, I've noticed things like that. And uh, I go to a lot of gyms, and I, I have noticed that some people, I mean, I don't like to offend anybody, right, or make fun of anybody. Well, I do. But, <laughs> but I, I do see a lot of strange things in the gym. Uh, one of the things that just baffles me is that some people overtrain one muscle for mm -hmm. like an hour mm -hmm. and I'm like what are they doing I mean they are destroying their body it makes no sense it's just why someone would do that but they do well look at it this way if you're working bicep you pick a couple exercises you like and that's all you need if you go to two more after that you don't need them your biceps only gonna pull your arm up and down there's, there's nothing fancy about it so you can take two ones two exercises that you like really well and just do those you don't need four and I see people doing five or six exercises just for a bicep. It's, what's the point? It's like washing my car over five <laughs> times in one day. Right. There's no point in it. And, right. and um, like I said, less is more. You want to stimulate the muscle, not kill it. Correct. Correct. And if you stimulate it by just short workouts and short reps, well, not necessarily short reps. Cause my favorite reps are seven. I don't know why it is, but it always comes to seven, then I stop. That's your, that's your magic number. It's number it seven. seems to be. Yeah. And um, I don't know why. It just is. I like 10. I like 10 reps. I can do 10. I sometimes try to, and I do them, but it's, I don't get much out as, 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 as I did 7. I've done as high as 20, 25. That's a waste of time. Is it? For me. You know, people say, go light and do high reps. I tried it. I didn't care. I don't, I don't like doing that. Mm -hmm. Something I want to add, I actually wanted to see, bring them up, my training partners. Bring them up with what? <laughs> bring them up from childhood? Well... Bring them up to the video. No, absolutely. Come on. Come on, girls. Um, I want to talk about having support, right? Having support from friends. Um, in, in my case... Don't be shy. Hello. Don't be shy. In my case, they Just are my us. training partners, and uh, I want to introduce them. Yes. We have... Oh, wait, wait, why? They don't know each other? Do I Go ahead and introduce yourself. yourself. He's going to introduce you because he says you don't know each other. No, we just met today. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just kidding. No, we're working together. So, this is at Adriana. Adriana Lanciti, hi everyone. Hi, this I'm Noor. Noor Milan. Yes. Noor, don't hide behind me. You come in here. I'm a little bashful. Don't be bashful. <laughs> You're with the brick. I know. It's yeah. okay. okay. You know, it's interesting. Um, I found a lot of support from my female friends opposed to my guy friends when it comes to the gym. Mm -hmm. I felt a lot of my guy friends were just not being supportive. If anything, it, it felt like they were maybe a little envious. So I found a lot of support. So we motivate each other. You know what? I'm a firm believer of that. Going back many, many years uh, to one of my relationships, I met a girl in the gym and she started training with me every day. We had the best workouts. She would motivate me, I'd motivate her, and then through the years, whoever I happened to be with at the time would work out with me. And I, I enjoyed it. Now the guys I met, most of the time they wouldn't show up on time, or they'd have an excuse for not doing this, or this would hurt or that would hurt. Women never complained. They just went through what we did and they got good results. Yeah. Then when I broke up with them, they got really fat and heavy and that was the end of them. Oh, God. No, I just, no, I don't know what happened to them. I never saw them again. But it did work. But I trained with Bill Grant. Bill Grant was one of the old time guys. Yes, he was. Great body, still looks good today. But my God, try to get him to show up on time. Oh, he doesn't? No. <laughs> and, and I, you know, if you're at the gym for a limited time, you don't want to wait 20 or 30 minutes for someone to get there. You could have been well into your workout by right. then. Well, that's Adriana. She has no patience. Don't if you're late, oh God. No, no, you you're gotta be on time. You gotta, I was of late course. today because I got caught in a detour down the street there. 
Yes. You're talking bad about me asking that. No, I'm not talking bad about you. I'm saying that actually that's a, that's a good that's thing. A good that's thing. not a bad thing. That's a good thing. That's this not, is me. That's not that's a bad not thing. Not I mean, I, I text somebody, I expect them to text me back. I call somebody, I expect them to call me back, and 80% of the time they don't. No, I'm always on time that he's not. She's very functional, and, and so, you know, she, she does acting and singing, and so. Yeah, I know she's a singer. We all train. <laughs> My next kumbi is coming. No, but I'm we, so excited. <laughs> That's great. We motivate each other to look good, obviously, because, you know, for, you know, self-confidence, but also for, you know, your craft, for, for your career. Uh, Nora's also a, uh, a host and I'm a reporter. TV journalist, yes. So, but you're good at it, too. I'm great, I yeah, especially sit, when I work out and I feel good. I should have you sit next to me one day and help me co-host a show. I'll grill you, if that's okay. That's fine. Do you want to be on the hot seat? I'll be on your hot seat anyway. <laughs> 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 so, that's, you've got it down right. No, no, definitely. Um, so what goes through your mind when you see someone over-isolating a muscle group? Well, I don't usually say anything anymore. I used to. Oh, you did? Yeah. I mean, these are, people are on their machines and they're texting away on their phones. They should be working out. Oh, I God, asked, yeah. Like, Excuse me, but how many more sets of text do you have left so I can use the machine? <laughs> I, there's a guy in my gym that does that, and he does everything wrong. He just does like 30 sets on triceps standing and throwing the weight down. It's just... Yeah. But you can't talk to him. He's an idiot. And he right. He's got an attitude, so I don't say anything. It's not my business to say anything. Right. But if they're receptive, receptive to me, I'll tell them that they should do that. I went to dinner last night for Thai food over here on Lancashire. Yes. And there were four guys sitting there talking about working out and getting big. And they weren't big. They were small little guys. <laughs> well, I take Anavar and I take this. And I said, excuse me, but I'm listening to your conversation because I'm nosy. And Anavar does not work. Really? You don't think so? I said, no, I've taken everything. I showed them my pictures from... Like these? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, Rick, you ha you had it all. I said, well, I took very little. You don't have to take that stuff. You got to watch what you're doing. You got to train hard. And you got to eat right. Basically, you guys are looking for shortcuts. It's not going to happen. Right. Right. You know, it's it's like a, it's a misconception that if I just take steroids, you get huge. Not necessarily. You get pimples and they make you fat. Yeah. But you've got to train hard too. And high estrogen levels after the effect, right? Yeah. Well, that's part of it. That's part of it. And I would say that. I think the the kind of people that we're talking about are the ones who fall, I would say, victim in the sense of uh, buying the supplements and believing everything they read on the labels, mm -hmm. right? Like you said, they're trying to find a, a shortcut. Uh, unfortunately, there, there there is no such thing. No. I get my supplements from old school labs. That's why there are banners up there. But, and I'm not yes. just pushing them. But their, their products, their amino acids, and all their pre-workout stuff is like really good. Right. And it doesn't mess with my stomach, and I feel good when I take it. But it... Uh, they know what they're doing. Yes, they do. I, I've taken that brand, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They have a pill called Bright. Have you seen that one? I haven't seen that one. Have you girls seen a pill out that increases your mental cap capacity? Do you remember the movie with Bradley Cooper? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's called... Uh, I just I heard the name of it, and I just can't remember, where he had this brain that he could think beyond. That's right. That's right. Breathless? Wait, no, no. Well, you'll think of it. It's a super pill, right? It makes you... Well, it, it works. It enhances yeah. everything. This works. Body. I mean, I, I, when I was with my girlfriend, she was taking them, and she was getting them from a doctor in Beverly Hills and oh. paying a lot of money for them. And I get them from old school labs for a whole lot less. Yes. But I notice that when I'm on them, my um, processing for thinking is really quick. Mm -hmm. What's the acting ingredient in it? I don't know. Oh. Probably your brain. Well, it has to be ginkgo biloba because that helps with memory. That could be in there. But that's yeah. good. We take uh, these um, pre-workout Supp supplements. Supple oh, supplements. Yeah, I mean, I did never take them back in the day. I just drink coffee or something. But I don't need to get fired up. But sometimes when you feel wheat, it's good that you take this. Or I drink coffee. This um, is my energy. Drink. Yeah, but I don't like that tingly energy. I want. I don't want. I want it to be natural. Yeah, I don't want to feel yeah. like I'm drugged up to do something. Yes, mm -hmm. I drink one time and I feel so weird. I cannot start work out. It's weird. Yeah. So that's why I got coffee, like natural. The coffee's okay. Yeah. You know what's interesting about her though is that even if she's complaining about low energy, she always overtrains all the time. So I kind of stop I her. Know. I'm like, don't. I'm like, yeah, no, just cut back a little bit. You don't have to overtrain. You try it for a while. I see people three, four hours in the gym, I'm like, for what? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm there 45 he minutes. He told me there. that, and I'm like, yeah, I mm -hmm. see more results now than before, like, work it, like, three hours. Yeah, it's no, 45 busy. minutes tops. Correct. See? 45 see? minutes. Well, I learned from, I learned from Rick, okay? Learned <laughs> I learned from me. Rick, so I'm just letting you know this, but what works. Yeah, okay. uh, that and diet. I mean, I just came mm -hmm. from lunch. I had um, smoked salmon and cottage cheese. Oh, wow, so, sounds delicious. Yeah, it is, but the waitress gets in my butt for eating it. She says, you can't be eating that salmon all the time. It's full of sodium. Well, right. let me ask you this. Is she in shape? 
No. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> no, 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 but um, she worries about me. I don't know why. They all worry about me. Yeah. I think I'm going to croak at the chair there or something. But one thing I want to give credit to both of them is that they'll bug me and go, oh, let's go to the gym. You know, so I like that because I'm naturally like that, but it's nice to have that, you know, support, you know. So North, North tends to be all North. about the gym. She, she's like obsessed with it. I love it. And I do it not just to look good, yeah, but, do you but to but, feel good. Yeah, but do you love me? Of course I love you. <laughs> That's all that matters. Of course. Who doesn't love you? I don't know. No, no but, it's, but, it's, but here's what me, it's for me, it's, it's more about... Looking good as a byproduct of wanting to do it for the mood. How you feel? Yeah. I'm feeling this, mm -hmm. about this, you know. Yeah. It's here's what it is. It's a passion. Mm -hmm. Yes. And to work out. I mean, of course, I want to look good, and I like to be in shape, and this and that. But, but it's also the feeling that you've done something good for yourself that's healthy. Yeah. Because I don't. I've never done drugs, and I don't drink, and I don't smoke. Good. Not because of any other reason that the fact just doesn't interest me. Right, right. Um, I want to feel good when I'm, I'm out doing something. And if I'm myself and it's natural, then I feel fine. Mm -hmm. So that's what the gym does. And so many people don't, don't want to get up and go to the gym. They feel lazy and they think, oh, no, I'm not going to go. But, you know, if you do that with everything, then you're not going to have anything. Mm -hmm. right. right. And and I always tell people to be motivated when you get up in the morning, get your head and sit in the edge of the bed and say, okay, let's get up. And you make your bed first. Yes. The reason why is that organizes your day. If you mm -hmm. can organize your day by making your bed, everything will fall into place right after that. Mm -hmm. And don't walk around with a negative attitude. Be positive. Right. If you go to the gym and it's busy and if that machine's busy, go use that one. If that's busy, go use the dumbbells over here. Mm -hmm. You can always find an alternative to do if something's right. busy. And then you can come back to that later. Mm -hmm. And I, that's what I do. I think it works. No, yeah. I, I, I've done it too and, and definitely um, it's the way to do it. Well, thank you guys for coming. Well, thank, thank you, you for having us. I thank really you. appreciate it. It's been very enlightening. <laughs> no, it has. Um, I've been watching your show for a couple of years, so for me to be here, um, you know, I'm very, very excited. Really it's kind of weird, huh? <laughs> People come on here and say, oh, this, this is where it is. This is what you have. I used to be outside in the garage. Oh, okay. Until I got kicked out of there. You did? Well, the, the weather was just too hot or too cold. I see, I see, yes. And then I have a music studio that I built onto the garage for recording. Nice. And I didn't want to go in there. And so when my daughter was in this room, she moved to the back bedroom and then she moved in with her boyfriend. So I took this room and built up my studio. And then I took what was a dining room and made that in my office. We have good lighting in here, though. You get that yeah. outside reflection. Too, yeah, so yeah, it, it, works a lot. Pretty, it works pretty good. You good acoustics, too. Yeah. Yes. I don't have pull sticks. You got, you got what? Pull sticks. What is a pull stick? I said good pull sticks. No, I don't even know what a pole stick is, and I can't even continue the talk. I'm kidding. Uh, thank you so much, and thank you thank guys you, for watching Rick's Corner. Thank you, Rick. And we'll see you all Bye. next time. Bye. Stay thank tuned you. for traffic and weather coming up. Hope next. you enjoyed the video brought to you by Old School Labs. Use my discount code Grayson12 on the link below at OldSchoolLabs.com. Hey, everyone. Now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Grayson personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it. And I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrazen.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.